It's Sybil Wilkes with what you need to know. Today is Wednesday, October 21st, 2020. Number one, two weeks before the end of the most consequential election period of our time, two black men made their picks in the 2020 presidential race. Tuesday morning, Michael Steele, the former chairman of the Republican National Committee, announced his endorsement of Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden. Monday, rapper, businessman, Curtis Jackson, a.k.a. 50 Cent posted his support for Republican presidential nominee Donald Trump. While Mr. Steele looks to a leader that he hopes will build and unify this country, Mr. Jackson is looking out only for Mr. Jackson. And Curtis only wants to build his stacks. Number two. Following the September indictment of one Louisville, Kentucky policeman that did not address the March shooting death of Breonna Taylor, more questions were raised than were answered. Tuesday, following a judge's approval, an anonymous grand juror stated the grand jury asked questions about bringing other charges against the officers, and the grand jury was told there would be none because the prosecutors didn't feel they could make them stick. Number three, according to a new poll conducted by Main Street Alliance and Color of Change, more than half of Black-owned businesses will be forced to close their doors by April of 2021 without federal aid. Of the 600 entrepreneurs polled, only 40% of Black respondents said they could last more than six months without aid. At the beginning of February, there were more than 1 million Black-owned businesses in the U.S. By mid-April, That number plummeted by 40% as 440,000 black businesses closed permanently. Number four, election officials in Shelby County, Tennessee have fired a poll worker after he turned away citizens wearing Black Lives Matter t-shirts and masks while trying to vote. The election commission said the poll worker assigned to the Dave Wells Community Center in North Memphis asked the voter to turn the shirt inside out. There is a state law that bars voters from wearing items with the name of a political party or candidate currently on the ballot from voting while in a polling location. However, items with statements like Black Lives Matter and I Can't Breathe are excluded from that law. Number five, Akon spent years convincing potential investors that Akon City, a futuristic cryptocurrency themed city in Senegal, was a profitable development. Now, He's raised $6 billion from investors and construction has started. With his example, small groups of friends across the country are considering the idea of building their own American dream instead of fighting for a respectable share. Please join me today live on YouTube and Facebook at 7 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Central with comedian extraordinaire Myra J. and Stephen Hill as we discuss today's top headlines and more. That's what you need to know. For more information, please go to SybilWilkes.com and sign up for my free newsletter. Be informed, be empowered.